In this tip, I'm going to show you how to make a tile map of the United States. The data source we're going to be working with is the monthly unemployment rate from the Bureau of Labor Statistics from January of 1976 through September of 2020. On the right hand side, we have our tile map template. This tells us which row and column each state is going to be placed in. Let's go ahead and build the chart. The first thing I need to do is I need to connect to the data. So I'm going to start by choosing my Bureau of Labor, Labor Statistics monthly unemployment rate data. And the first thing I see here is that my year and my month are both strings, so I'm going to convert those both to numbers. From there I need a date field, so I'm going to create a new calculated field. I'm going to call it date, and I'm going to use the make date function. So I can pass to that the year, the month, and then just the number one. And when I do that, you'll see we now have a date field. The other thing I need to do is I need to calculate the unemployment rate, which is the number of unemployed divided by the employable population. So I'm going to create another calculated field and call it unemployment rate. And it's going to be the sum of the unemployed divided by the sum of the employable population. OK, and now we're ready to go. I don't need this FIPS field, so I'm just going to go ahead and hide that here. And I need to connect this to my template. So I'm going to add another data source, choose more, and I'm going to pick my US state tile map template. All right, I'm going to drag this connection up into the view. And I'm going to, Tableau is going to pick it to go from state to state, which is what I'm looking for. And I'm going to go ahead and hide my extra state field. And I'm going to call this uh, unemployment rate tile map. Okay, I like giving my data sources a name. And let's go ahead and go to the sheet. Now you'll notice column and row are both set up as continuous measures, but I actually just want to use those to split up the view. I don't want to aggregate them. So I'm going to make those dimensions. I'm going to drag column to the columns row to the rows, and you can see we're starting to get the shape of the United States. If I put state onto the text shelf, you'll see that I can now see where each state is going to be placed. Okay, very good. So what we want to do now is we want to, we want to look at the unemployment rate by month. So let's right click and drag the date field to the columns, and let's pick continuous months. From there, we're going to take the un unemployment rate and I'm going to go ahead and first off set the default number format for it. So right click, default properties, number format, and I'm going to pick percentage to one decimal. And drag unemployment rate to the rows. And now we have our nice little line charts. Okay, so this now tells us the monthly unemployment rate by state. And uh, what I could do from here is I could go to the analytics pane and I want to know how each state compares to the average for all of its years. So I'm going to take an average line and drag that onto the pane. And that means it's going to give me an average line for each one of these little squares that you see. But what I don't like is that all of these lines say average. So I'm just going to click on one of them and choose edit. And I'm going to change the label to none. I'm going to change the tooltip to none. And I'm going to maybe set it to like dot dotted lines that are maybe black, something like that. And I'm going to turn off the un, uh, the recalculate. So now we can see how each one compares to the average. Okay, I might make my lines a bit thinner to make them look a bit nicer. From here, I'm going to, I don't want to see these row and column numbers, so I'm going to click on the column field and the column shelf, uncheck show header, do the same for the rows, do the same for the unemployment rate, or maybe we can leave the unemployment rate there. And uh, so now we just need to do a bit of cleanup on the chart. So I'm going to right click in the space and choose format. Go to my borders and set my row divider to none, my column divider to none. And I'm going to go to my lines and set my grid lines to none and my zero lines to none. So now we've got a nice little grid layout of each of our states. Okay, great. So what we could do from here is we could maybe put the, um, the state abbreviation onto the label shelf. 
and you'll see we only get one here for Illinois. So I need to go into my label and tell Tableau how to draw them. So I'm going to maybe put it at the end of each line. So I'm going to go to the lines shelf and I'm going to label just the start of each line. So now I can see each state and where it belongs. Okay, uh, so yeah, the last thing I would probably do here, I probably would clean this up a bit more by getting rid of the header on my months and by getting rid of the header on my tooltip. I'm sorry, on my unemployment rate. Because really what I'm interested in is the trends for each individual state. All right, uh, let's see, what else can we do here? Now the problem I don't like with this is I don't, I find it kind of hard to distinguish between the states. So let's call this one, this is our uh, line chart tile map. And let's look at an alternative. So I'm just going to duplicate the sheet and I'm going to remove the abbreviation from the text and we're back to our little line. Now I want to be able to see each of these sections separately like I mentioned. So in my rows, I'm going to double click on my rows and just choose the average of one. And you'll see I just get lines across each of these because the value of one is what is showing there. I'm going to go to that shelf on the marks card and I'm going to change the mark type to a area. And now you can see we get these filled uh, these uh, filled rectangles. I'm going to make it dual axis now, but I don't need to synchronize because I don't. Uh, all I want to do is kind of have that as a shading in the background. So I'm going to right click on the axis on the right hand side, and and uh, choose move marks to back, and then I'm going to right click on that axis and uncheck show header. Now what Tableau's done is on the it's taken the measure names and put it on the all marks card. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, take that off. And then on my unemployment line, maybe I'll make that black. And I'm going to go to my shading, my area chart, and maybe make that a light gray. You could choose kind of whatever color you want. Okay, so now I have a tile map that also has uh, some shading in the background and it's a bit easier to see the differences uh, between each of the states. The last thing I would do here then is take the abbreviation and put it onto the label for the area chart. And you'll see it puts it nice and neat right in the middle. So now I can go ahead and maybe make that a nice big font. And I could maybe make it a lighter shade of gray so it kind of fades into the background. So now we can see each state, maybe that font's a bit too big. Okay, we can see each state and its unemployment rate from January 1976 to September of 2020. I would go ahead and rename this sheet as our, uh, let's see, area chart, line chart, um, tile map. And one last alternative I might do is just to make it area chart only. So I'm going to rename this sheet to just area chart tile map. And on my unemployment shelf, I'm just going to change that from automatic to area. And now I can see that as an area chart, which looks really nice to me. I really like the look of this one. So that's all that I have for you. Have a good day.